Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all to Easy Human Antum channel. In this video, I discuss about difference between anterior and posterior fontanelli. A fontanelli is the anatomical feature of the infant human skull and there are soft membranous gap between the cranial bones. The anterior fontanelli. This is the anterior fontanelli. This is also known as the Bragmatic fontanelli and fontan fontanelli. This is posterior fontanelli. This is also known as the lambdoid fontanelli and occipital fontanelli. The shape of the anterior fontanelli is diamond shape. The shape of the posterior fontanelli is triangular in shape. The anterior posterior diameter of the anterior fontanelli is 4 cm and transfer diameter 2.5 cm. The diameter of the posterior fontanelli is less than 1 cm. The anterior fontanelle is situated in between two frontal bone and two parietal bone. The posterior fontanelli is situated in between two parietal bone and one occipital bone. The anterior fontanelli is situated in between frontal suture, coronal suture, and sagittal suture and posterior fontanelli is situated in between sagittal suture lambdoid suture the closure of the fontanelli anterior fontanelli is closed at the age of 12 to 18 month after birth the posterior fontanelli is closed 2 to 3 month after birth this is the x-ray of lateral view of the skull. Uh, this is the x-ray of a children, five month old. You see the anterior fontanelle is present, but posterior fontanelle is closed. A abnormal fontanelle in infant can indicate a serious medical conditions. Therefore, it is important to understand the wide variations of normal and how to examine the fontanelles and which diagnosis to consider when abnormality is found. The delay anterior fontanelli closure. Uh, these are the clinical condition: achondroplasia, hypothyroidism, Down syndrome, increased intracranial pressure and rickets. Delay closure of the posterior fontanelli is associated with congenital hypothyroidism. The anterior fontanelli is useful clinically. The examination of infant including palpating the anterior fontanelli. A shrunken fontanelli indicate dehydration. A bulging indicate rise intracranial pressure. And delay closure of the posterior fontanelli indicate congenital hypothyroidism. Fontanelles allows the infant brain to image using ultrasonography. So this is the anterior fontanelli approach. This is the posterior fontanelli approach. The condition which diagnosis through sonography, the hydrocephalus, intracranial, germinal matrix hemorrhage, and through posterior fontanelli, the interventricular hemorrhage is can be clearly diagnosed. Through anterior fontanelli approach, the wide area of the brain can be visualized, but post through posterior fontanelli approach, the small area of the brain can be visualized, mainly posterior, uh, bra mainly brain structure of the posterior cranial fossa. So this is the anterior fontanelli approach. You see here the. Uh, sulci jari of the medial side of the cerebrum is can be seen through this approach. Uh, this is the lateral ventricle, this is corpus callosum, this is cingulate gyrus and these are the other gyruses of the medial surface of the cerebrum. And this is the fourth ventricle, this is the vermis. This is the sonographic picture through posterior fontanelli approach. Here see the 
occipital um, uh, lobe of the cerebrum, the cisterna magna, the vermis, the fourth ventricle, and pons and medulla oblongata. So, anterior fontanelle approach can not visualize well posterior fossa malformation. The posterior fossa malformation is clearly visualized through posterior fontanelle approach. Uh, this is the sonographic picture here uh, through anterior fontanelle approach. You see um, there is a cystic lesion just behind the cerebellum. Uh, but uh, this is the sonographic picture through posterior fontanelle approach. You see, uh, it is a mega cisterna magna, and it not compress the cerebrum vermis, and the fourth ventricle is also patent. And so, through the posterior fontanelle approach, this um, posterior cranial fossa malformation is clearly visualized. This is the anterior uh, fontanelle approach here see this is the choroid plexus and this is a hemorrhage but it cannot be clearly uh, separate those two structure hmm. uh, but in this picture here the this picture is through posterior fontanelle approach you see here this is the choroid plexus and this is a hemorrhage so posterior fontanelle um, approach can clearly um, diagnosis the intracranial hemorrhage. This is another sonographic picture through anterior fontanelle approach. You see this is the uh, lateral ventricle and this is the chloride plexus and no sign of hemorrhage. Uh, but here this is the posterior fontanelle approach. You see this is the occipital horn of the lateral ventricle and this is called plexus. The posterior end of the occipital horn of the lateral ventricle, there is a clot is present. So, this um, through posterior fontanelle approach, this hemorrhagic um, hemorrhage can be clearly diagnosed. This is another um, hemorrhagic um, clinical condition, bilateral cerebral hemorrhage. Here, there is ecogenic structure situated subcentrorial pace but it can cannot be um, clearly visualized but this sonographic picture showing through posterior fontanelle approach you see this hemorrhage can be clearly visualized so this is all about difference between anterior and posterior fontanelle if you like this video please press the like button and please subscribe my channel